<clears throat> so essentially the parameter will be following this one and the parameter which i am referring to here as beta will be using the parameter as mu in this traditional smooth uh, smoothing based language model note that as i have said we can also consider this because essentially what i mean we will be seeing that they are, they are kind of same as the denominator is same essentially we are what we are doing we are doing lambda and 1 minus lambda isn't it so essentially if we consider this as lambda this will be 1 minus lambda or if we consider this as lambda this will be 1 minus lambda right <clears throat> so putting lambda equals to this uh, parameter where the parameter is dependent on the size of the document and if we put the value of lambda in this equation in this equation or particularly this equation what we will be ending up with is here we had earlier written lambda and here what we have earlier written was 1 minus lambda so lambda is replaced by d by d plus mu into probability of q given md plus 1 minus lambda uh, and 1 minus lambda is replaced by 1 minus d by d plus mu into probability of q given c so q given d the document language model q given c the query language uh, the collection language model so what is the generation probability from the document language model what is the collection pro uh, generation probability of the term from the collection language model this is exactly same now if we do the maths so this is this is just extended by the mle following mle and this part which is basically as we have said again it is mle <clears throat> tf of q comma d is basically the number of times the query term is occurring in the document divided by the size of the document here it is cf of q is basically in the whole collection how many times the, the term q is occurring divided by the, by the collection size that is the number of terms in the collection now if we just i mean this will be basically mu by d plus mu now if we do the maths we'll be ending up with basically a form like this so what we are doing so in the denominator we can see d plus mu is here this t will cancel each other we'll be ending up with tf of this and this uh oops, where is the mu oh yeah so doing this so this mu will be basically multiplied with this probability of the term generation from the collection so this so another way it is written <clears throat> as i hope you'll be able to understand this the denominator is kept the same this part we write in terms of q divided by so let's actually extend it and for this part what we can write is basically d into tf of q comma d by d isn't it? it it will cancel each other the length of d now this can be written as the denominator will be the same length of d plus mu what is this this is basically this so it is document length into probability of q given md or q given let's write md plus mu into what is this this is essentially this probability of right handwriting probability of q given mc so it is basically 
D into probability of so you can see D and mu, D and mu, they are kind of written in the symmetrical way so that we can remember. D is associated with the query gener uh, with the generation probability of the query term from the document, and here mu is associated with the collection with the generation probability of the query term from the collection, and it is uh, I mean the, it is basically done for all the query terms. Okay. Any question up to this? Thank <laughs> you.